Eastley came into their final away game of the season with high hopes of taking three points and moving a place up the table. Both sides didn't have much to play for as the Spits sat 20th coming into this game with the hosts sat comfortably in mid-table. The first half of this National League encounter had limited chances but five minutes before the interval a beautifully floated cross from Max Kretschmar found Musa Diara at the back post whose effort found the outside of the woodwork. Nil-nil at the interval. It took until the 65th minute for the deadlock to be broken as Danny Whitehall executed a perfect lob over Craig Ross in the Woking goal to put the Spits 1-0 up. But the away side managed to hold their lead for just three minutes as Jack Rolls released a 30-yard thunderbolt nestling into the top right corner, putting the hosts back on level terms. The scoreline remained level going into stoppage time, but the number of players didn't, as Jamal Loza was shown a straight red after a late challenge of Brennan Camp leaving the Cardinals with 10 men for the remainder of injury time. And the Spits were able to capitalise on the man advantage as a loose ball from the Woking defence played in Carl Simpson, whose efforts struck the woodwork and fell into the path of Dan Smith, who was able to convert from close range and send the travelling support into pandemonium. A first win in seven for Lee Bradbury's men on their final away day of the season, taking the Spitfires up to 19th in the table. We'll enjoy today. I'm really pleased with it for the fans. Come up, a lot of them in Hawaiian shirts and, and having a good day and uh, a lot of numbers up here. So I'm pleased that they can go and have a good weekend now. Both management teams wanted to win. And, um, you know, it's a local derby, you know, pretty much. So we've taken all that out of it. I thought some very good performances out there today.